Hello guys, it's Oops, and I'm going to show you one of the places I farm Frostweave Cloth. Uh, it's a little bit complicated this one, but not that bad. Um, you have to do this every reset day. So first of all, I'm out at Naxramis Raid. Okay, so that's out in Dragon Blight in Northrend. And we're up in the air, just inside the Naxramis Raid entrance. Right, first thing to do. Um, on your pull tree, change the raid difficulty to heroic 25 player and off we go to farm this cloth. Now the trick with this one is we're going to go and just kill something in a certain area and then we're going to pop straight back out once we've done that change the settings to normal rather than heroic and reset and um, the area you come down is this one the play quarter let's just quickly kill these dudes Let the stuff as we go uh, now there are a few people who know about this uh, again this is an old farm I can't remember the guy from years ago who's started out. Uh, sorry buddy, but it's a very very easy one. These two should spark off with me in a second. Now you're going to kill this one boss here and none of the other bosses. Let's just kill him. Okay. No, I didn't get no new mocks there. Right. So this is going to be the farming area. So you're going to farm all the moats in this part of the play quarter. This bat should come flying at me in a second. Obviously I'm on my tailor because I get more cloth. Also my disenchanter which is good because he will disenchant any greens and get infinite dust that is needed to make the frostweed bags and that's the whole point of this little farm really making frostweed bags well for me anyway Because it's reset day, it's the first time I've done it, so I've got to set it up for myself. There are a lot of modes in here. Uh, you might pick up a few useful patterns as well. I think the blue workman shirt drops in here, and maybe the overalls pattern as well. So keep an eye on what you're actually picking up nearly done with this bit guys come on bats you should no. over now you may want to farm frostweave cloth for other reasons um, for me it's purely for the bags I'm not really into crafting that much I have this week crafted a few high-end items just to see if they do sell um, I'm on high pop server, so if they don't sell on my server, they won't sell anywhere. Okay, so that's it. It's uh, back out again now. That's the area we're going to keep coming in and farming. See, I've got a few greens there. Just disenchant. Show you where you get. 
Celestial Essence again, Brighter Celestial Essence, that one because it's an epic, and the Disc Crystal, I set 5 Infinite Dust. So a lot of the greens will give you Infinite Dust, which of course is dead handy for the bag making. You won't have to farm or buy Infinite Dust anywhere else. You've got plenty from doing this little farm. So all I'm going to do is run back out. I mean, I guess you could set up your half stone to one of the local inns. Um, but it takes no time to run in and out. Not really worried about the mobs. I kill them as I come past anyway. So yeah, I've been transferred I get. I've got 107 frost weave cloth from that one little run. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Nip out of this raid. Okay, so we're back outside. I'm going to set the raid difficulty to normal 10 player now. And I will just reset while I'm out here. And back in we go. Now, when we get back over to that little section in the plate quarter, those mobs should have respawned. run speed potion might help here and we're only talking seconds depends how much you want the frost wave I haven't come across a better frost wave clock yet yep so there we go uh, mobs are all back and I can farm them out reset do it again so to recap you start off doing Max Ramus as a heroic 25 player you come up kill all these mobs run back out then change it to normal 10 player reset it and you got them all back again and you can farm another 100 frost weave anyway guys hope that was useful uh, please like subscribe if it was thanks for watching and bye bye for now